The beauty of the Great Lakes really is pure Michigan. Yes, but what many often don't see is the danger lurking just below the surface. And as our Priya man explains, it's putting the Great Lakes in danger. Along the shores of Lake Erie and Rockwood, which is just south of Gibraltar, it is beautiful out here. But there's always the risk of invasive species destroying all that we hold dear, which is why it's important all of us do our part to ensure our Great Lakes stay great. There's nothing quite like a pure Michigan summer, but invasive species like zebra mussels and sea lampreys pose a troubling risk to our stunning Great Lakes. People experience the zebra mussels and the quagga mussels, and there's been an invasion of crayfish that's come in that they're trying to control and keep them from getting too prolific because they'll eat up food food supplies and and uh, affect the native uh, food chain. Zebra mussels should be disposed of and when it comes to plant life, several states including Michigan are now battling a rise in starry stonewarts. To get rid of them, it's very difficult to manage. It's, this is not one of those that's easy to get rid of. But when they get in mass, it can create problems for navigating your boat and getting it caught up in propellers and things like that. Boaters are vital when it comes to protecting the environment and reducing the spread of invasive aquatic species. There's so much that you need to do even when you get off the water. It's not just about getting on the water, having fun. The state and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service recommends the clean drain dry method. Clean off visible aquatic plants, animals and mud from all equipment before leaving water access. Drain the motor, bilge, live well and other water containing devices before leaving water access and dry everything for at least five days or wipe with a towel before reuse. So when you get off making sure that you clean drain dry your boat, um, looking just for any kind of uh, vegetation, any kind of animals that, like you said, might have hitchhiked and come along for the ride and make sure that they stay on site when you take your boat to your next fun vacation. If you're fishing, stay vigilant and keep an eye out for lampreys. Experts say if you spot one on a fish, don't throw it back in the water. It latches on to fish, uh, particularly uh, game fish, salmon and the like, and then they, they basically are um, suck blood from the uh, fish and eventually diminish them and could kill them. So far, preventative measures have kept invasive carp, also known as Asian carp, at bay across the Great Lakes. They're really disruptive to food webs, to uh, native species, and so um, it's just important to prevent establishment so that we're not stuck on the back foot and trying to remove the populations once they're here. Experts say as climate change evolves, invasive species typically found in other parts of the world are popping up in new places, including Michigan. Honestly, it's conversations like this that give me a lot of hope. You know, people are really interested in learning not only what invasives they're seeing when they go out and about, but the invasives that pop up in their backyard. Your biggest ally in the fight against invasive species is your local CISMA, which stands for Cooperative invasive species management area and each county has their own. That's how specific it can get. If you'd like to contact your local CISMA, we've got information on clickondetroit.com. In Trenton, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4.